We know, we know, we know. Justin Bieber isn't the type of celebrity that we typically cover over here at RRG. But after getting multiple requests to do a deep dive into his relationship with his wife Haley, we knew we had to come through for our besties. I know, that's right. Thank you, girl. Through our research, we discovered that this is definitely a relationship that deserves to be a part of our Red Flag series. Uh-oh. Ding, 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 ding. But before we get into today's video, you're gonna need something to munch on. And you know we got that yummy, yum, that yummy, yum, that yummy, yummy. <laughs> Our online concession stand at RRG Snacks has an assortment of beef and bacon jerky, blue raspberry licorice, and gummy sour bears that'll make your taste buds say, ooh yeah. <laughs> if you hate it when we give y'all a backstory. We do not care. And don't. In regards to Justin and Haley, we have to take you way back to 2009 when they met backstage at the Today Show. They were introduced by her dad, actor Stephen Baldwin, who was friends with Justin's mother. Haley was 12 at the time and Justin was 15. Nothing came from that initial meeting, but two years later, they were photographed again in New York alongside Haley's dad at the 2011 premiere of Justin's Never Say Never documentary. Haley later told Vogue magazine she wasn't a believer. She said, I didn't think about it in any kind of way except for the fact that he was cute. Everybody had a crush on him, but for the first few years, we had a weird age gap. By that point, Justin was romantically linked to Selena Gomez. In May 2011, Haley, with her goofy self, tweeted, I don't care what anyone says, but Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez together is the definition of a teenage dream. Hashtag word. Okay. Internet Inspector Gadget dug through Haley's old tweets, including one from January 2012, where she complimented Justin's dark hair. But he was apparently too busy to reply and paid her dust. Bye, Ashy. Justin and Selena went through a series of ups and downs and breakups to makeups. <laughs> In 2014, Justin was arrested for driving under the influence, and Selena checked into rehab for lupus. And then that same year, he was spotted with Haley and Kendall Jenner at a church service. Hallelujah. Haley later told Vogue magazine that their friendship blossomed from there, and she described Justin as being her best guy friend. She said, I was running around with him as his homie, but we weren't hanging out romantically. His homie? While his fans were in a tizzy over the thought that he was leaving Selena in the dust, Justin made it clear on his Instagram that he was single and Haley was just a friend. Oh, Biba, you telling a lie. Cause you know you wanna hit. Cause you know you wanna hit. <laughs> <laughs> Although they spent New Year's Eve together, things were strictly platonic. Allegedly. <laughs> to celebrate his 21st birthday, Justin and some friends traveled to a private island in the Caribbean. Haley was in attendance, as well as Justin's on-again, off-again fling, Yovana Ventura. According to Hollywood Life website, Haley fled the island in the middle of the birthday celebration because Justin was all up in Yovana's peach with his nasty ass. An insider told the website, she says she's cool with him being with other girls, but putting it in her face like that was too much. When an online user asked Haley if she left because Justin was being a jerk, Haley confirmed she left, but she added, I didn't have to leave for that, left because I wanted to. Okay, girl. By the end of 2015, Justin was captured serenading Selena. Weeks later, Haley joined Justin and his family to ring in the new year once again. But this time, they locked lips. By February 2016, Justin told GQ magazine that he really loved Haley, but he wasn't ready to commit to anyone. He added, I know that in the past I've hurt people and said things that I didn't mean to make them happy in the moment. So now I'm just more so looking at the future, making sure I'm not damaging them. Now say right now. Haley appeared to be fine with their situationship. She told E! News they weren't exclusive because relationships at their age were too complicated. Okay, girl, whatever you say to make yourself feel better. Well, by August 2016, they were done. Haley told Vogue magazine that their breakup was a very dramatic excommunication. Well, damn, was the devil involved? 
She even said there was a period of time that if she walked into a room, Justin would walk right back out. You sound petty as hell. Okay, Petty Riley. <laughs> <laughs> Justin moved on with Sophia Ritchie and started posting photos of her on his Instagram. But come to find out, Sophia wasn't his endless love. <laughs> Justin and Selena reconnected again, only for them to break up again in March 2018. Child, that's too many breakups for me, honey. A source told People Magazine they were hitting pause in order to focus on their spirituality. What the hell that mean? But just three months after things ended with Selena, Justin reconnected with Haley, and a month later, he proposed. Now say what now? Child, I'm getting whiplash. The time that things came back around for him and I was the time where I really had like let it go and was like, I don't know what's ever gonna happen with this person. I just know that I want him to be in my life forever mm. to some capacity, whether like he's meant to just be my friend forever. I just love him and I just want to support him and like he's always gonna matter to me. They moved into Justin's home outside Toronto shortly after getting engaged and they enrolled in couples therapy immediately. Now that's smart. We had a lot of hurts between the two of us from mm. stupid sh we we're gonna get married. So it appeared that Haley's patience had paid off. She stuck around while Justin played the field and then folded like a cheap suit as soon as Justin presented her with a sparkly ring. But little did she know, agreeing to marry him would come with a lot of drama. According to Justin, his past was catching up to him big time. He told Vogue magazine that he spent years being a womanizer, using hard drugs, and partying until he could no longer keep himself up. His fast lifestyle led to severe depression. He said, I found myself doing things that I was so ashamed of, being super promiscuous and stuff, and I think I used Xanax because I was so ashamed. Going through detox helped him get a grasp on things, and he was able to kick his substance habit. Right before they got together, Justin had started a self-imposed period of celibacy, and the couple admitted to Vogue they rushed to the altar because they were ready to get, 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 get it poppin'. <laughs> One month before their wedding, Justin and Haley were captured looking visibly upset while taking a bike ride in NYC. When TMZ asked about the crying episode the next day, Justin said it had to do with the major commitment he was about to make. He held up a book called The Meaning of Marriage and explained he knew marriage would be a long road and every day wouldn't be good, so he was getting prepared. By crying? <laughs> Bruh, this might not be for you. Perhaps he should have taken some more time to decide if getting married was the right thing to do at that point in his life. Uh, yeah. But instead, in September 2018, which was just three months after he and Haley reconnected, they got married at a New York courthouse. Days after tying the knot, Justin was pictured crying uncontrollably while driving around with Haley. Was the wedding night sex that bad? <laughs> a source told Radar Online that Justin was going to extreme lengths to make sure he would remain faithful to Haley. He even went as far as to hire a church friend to help keep him on the right track and away from other women. Where you find them friends at? 1-800-WORSHIPPER? 1-800-GOD'S-DISCIPLE? 1-800-KEEP-YOUR-THING-IN-YOUR-PANTS? Where you find them at, girl? I'm asking for a friend. <laughs> Life as newlyweds was a hot, stinking mess. They admitted that living together was difficult and learning how to communicate was challenging. Haley also admitted she felt deeply lonely and homesick. Justin took to his Instagram to talk about his crippling mental health issues, including how hard it was for him to get out of bed in the morning. He added that the anxiety about his life has caused him to think like a pessimist at times and always anticipate another bad day. He need to read the power of positive thinking. During an interview with Apple Music's Ebro Darden, Justin admitted he had an emotional breakdown following their wedding because he thought marriage was going to fix all of his problems, and it didn't. He had other things to worry about as well, including his estimated $300 million fortune. Justin, with his silly self, didn't bother getting a prenup. Lord, this is getting messy. A source told the Sun website that since Justin and Haley got married so quickly, he didn't have enough time to get a prenup in order. They tried to have one drafted on their wedding day, but it was already too late. Elle magazine reported that after their wedding, reality sunk in for Justin, and he became afraid about losing his fortune. Now that's what the hell he get. They probably should have went ahead and had sex. He might have been able to think more clearly. <laughs> 
While the two can get a post nup, there's been no news that it's happened. In September 2019, they had another ceremony in South Carolina after going through what Haley described as a really effing hard first year of marriage. So what was so hard about being married to Justin? Well, a source told Radar Online that Justin had regressed to acting more like a teen than a grown man. An insider added that instead of acting like an adult, Justin had resorted to playing pranks on Haley and terrorizing her like a schoolboy. Somebody called a psychiatrist. That's what happens when they don't have a childhood, honey. He didn't have time to be a child, honey. He was a celebrity when he was a child. One insider said, This is a marriage based on Justin's childish needs, and it's doomed. He was also photographed again looking visibly upset while out in public. A source told Us Weekly that Justin had a lot going on in his head, and he wasn't feeling right. Unfortunately, the person seemed to point to Justin and Haley's marriage as the source of his issues. They said the quickie engagement and wedding were overwhelming for Justin, who was 24 at the time, and he didn't feel whole. To feel better, Justin turned to church, and Haley reportedly spent her days worrying about his state of mind and managing everything for him, which has to be extremely overwhelming for someone so young. And then the unthinkable happened. In March 2022, Haley suffered a mini stroke. She was ultimately diagnosed with PFO, a small opening in the heart that usually closes after birth. She underwent a procedure to close the PFO and the procedure was successful. Three months later, Justin had to postpone a few dates on his justice tour after being diagnosed with Ramsey-Hunt syndrome, a rare neurological disorder that caused paralysis on the right side of his face. While they supported each other during their health issues, an insider told Radar Online that Haley was at her wit's end due to Justin's behavior. Some online users believe the biggest sign that this marriage is doomed is the lack of coordination between Haley and Justin. People have discussed how they always look like they're going to different events. But it's not the fact that their outfits aren't following the same style or color scheme. It's more so that people think Justin doesn't put in enough effort to look presentable when they hit up public events. For example, when Haley was promoting her skincare line, she wore a beautiful red dress and matching red heels, while Justin showed up in a sweatshirt, some sweatshorts, and some fugly yellow Crocs. Crocs are uncomfortable as hell, though. Some people called him unsupportive, while others said his outfit was disrespectful to Haley since it was such a big day for her. A source told Radar Online that Haley was actually mortified by his attire. I don't blame her. They got matching tattoos in March 2021 to celebrate Justin's song, Peaches, reaching the top of the charts. And as y'all know, matching ink is typically the kiss of death in our red flag videos. Despite all the drama that has surrounded them, Haley is in it for the long haul. She told Harper's Bazaar, At the end of the day, he's like my best friend, but it still does take a lot of work to make it work. Are we on point with these red flags or are we tripping? Let us know down below. And thanks for watching. R to the R to the G.